what's up guys? So we are heading over to Kyle's house because we are gonna put on his new extended control arms um, that he just got extended by our buddy JJ. We kind of tore apart his front end and pulled the arms off and everything. And then he calls me and he says that he can't get the tie rod, the outer tie rod off of the knuckle. So we're taking him a pickle fork. I'll update you guys when we get there. Hopefully we can get this thing off. So we got a ball joint separator that I brought over last time, but it looks like it's not working on this. Side. Oh, there it goes. I went all the way back for the pickle fork and you didn't even freaking need it. New control arms are on, right there, extended. Just need some adjustable tension rods up here. This right here is the tension rod. So I need an adjustable one to adjust caster and then front end should be good. Got that poke with the nice RSRRs. Car's coming along. So he actually just picked up this uh, coupe a couple months ago, so he's just getting into drifting now. We're just kind of getting his car dialed in. So Kyle says that the tie rod that he just bought looks like it's already bent. That has a rotation in it. It looks like it to me. It's back here. There's something straight. Spin it again. Oh, that's heck of bent. <laughs> what the hell? Take that bad boy off. We're going back to the store. <clears throat> All right, so we're taking that tie rod back off. We're gonna take it back to the store and get it swapped out. It was already bent. As soon as he started tightening it, you could see that it just wasn't spinning straight. And you'll definitely feel that driving. So we're going to get that swapped out, get a new one, come back, put it together. And yeah, we should be good. Then we're just going to try to eyeball align it. But we'll try to measure it, get it as close as we can, and then probably get this thing aligned before, before the next event. What the heck is that? Morgan Van Logan. All right, we got a new tie rod. We had to go to two different O'Reilly's because the first place didn't have one. But and more importantly, we got Slurpees. We got Slurpees, so. All right. Got the new one on. Straight. Got the boot on. Everything's on. Now we just gotta align it. All right, it's all on. Go full lock, let's see. Go the other way. Is it stuck? No. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah. Go the other way? Oh, it's true, it's true. That's what I'm talking about. Boy. Yeah, that's a ton of angle. What is? All right, so we're back home and we finished Kyle's car and we are here to take my car into the garage. And there's a lot of stuff behind my car to get it out. So we got a lot of work to do to get this thing out. All right, there's the garage. We're gonna do a little snap cleanup. Ta-da! All right, all cleaned up for the most part. We're gonna go pull the 240 in. We also moved. If she starts. If she starts, she likes to not start sometimes. So we'll pull that out, get her in the garage. Moment of truth. She's a runner! Alright, 
All right, guys, so got the 240 in the garage. It's been the first time in a long time that this car has just been able to sit in the garage, so I'm stoked. Um, so we are going to be doing a lot of stuff. A um, little walk around of the car, show you guys all the stuff I'm going to fix. All right, so this is my S13. She's in kind of rough shape right now, so Kyle's working on taking the bumper off. So this thing's got a full KBD kit on it uh, that I've already managed to Destroy. do some damage to. The the bracket that holds this in place is super, this is like the stock OEM from the pig nose bumper. I took it off, it fits right here on the KBD, but the problem is that it's super thin metal, so it just kind of bends and, you know. We're gonna try to make some new um, mounting brackets for it, uh, just to kind of keep it a little tighter. And then, um, I do have a bash bar in here too that we might try to use. Uh, I guess I'll show you guys that later. Um, but try to incorporate some some like tubing coming off of that. Um, side skirts are in decent shape. Rear bumper is actually brand new, KBD. Uh, they sent me a brand new one because the old one that I bought, the uh, exhaust cutout got all melted from my exhaust. So um, they're actually cool enough to send me a brand new one. Um, so shout out KBD. Definitely check out their stuff. So it's in good shape, just need to get it to sit right. Definitely taking some damage on this thing. It's got over fenders, like 55, 50 mil or 55 mil overs. Came with them. Kind of don't like how wide it is, but whatever. Um, and then this is the next project, this is the 326 wing. It's coming apart in two pieces. So, otherwise though, you know, the drive's great. So we're gonna finish the video off here. I'm hoping I'll have some time to work on the car this weekend, start getting the bumper stuff situated and whatnot. So yeah, stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye.